called a animation. Yes! Oh! <laughs> you nailed it, bro! See? Look at that little pick me up, a little energy I today. Cheated. You did. Kamiati told you in your ear. There's no question about that. All right, let's Thank start you, off in Tampa Bay where Daniel Robertson was doing his thing. Homer on camera, though, for the world. What happened? Get this home when I'm up. Get this Homer on camera. Oh, I got you. I got All you. Right. Definitely. I love, I love when we call stuff because Chris, true story, as a hitter, we say we're going deep probably 450 times, but the 10 times it happens when you say it, you're like, yeah, dog, you get that? I told you I was going deep. See, uh, kudos to him. It's not like Babe Ruth in the World Series in the 30s or anything, but uh, I would like to see something different because you guys could always call Homer walk or strikeout, and odds are you're going to be right. Like the next time somebody says, infield single and then it happens like that's when I'm going to be impressed Kevin <laughs> yes blooper double broken bad double over the first base head you're right I, you know what start calling out some stuff players good idea <laughs> all right let's move on to the blue gold world series they're doing this up in Milwaukee uh, intra squad they're trying to ratchet up the intensity a little bit so they had a draft Abisail Garcia was one captain. Narvaez was the captain of the other squad. And so uh, what we're having there is, is a draft. You'd think Christian Yelich would go first overall. No, Garcia passed. He took Ryan Braun and said, and when he was asked why, he said, because I want to play against the best. Well, the manager, Craig Council, looked at the teams and he said, well, we got too many lefties on one squad and too many righties on another. So actually, Yelich and Sogard were traded for Braun and Arcia. So it ends up that Garcia now has Yelich on his squad. Although I talked to Yelly earlier today and he said I was going to make Garcia pay for the entire week. He didn't like being traded. So there you go. With that being said, we wanted to do our own little draft. And so we have each picked four Milwaukee Brewers. Now, Kev, there was um, a, a big brouhaha on who would get to pick first. And remember, I had a piece of paper with either the number one or the number two written down on it. Do you remember what you picked? No, I remember that, but I was still, it's under investigation, and we might go back to replay, because you said I have written a one or a two to see who goes first, right. and I picked two, and you pulled up one. I don't know if you had one and two sitting there, and you just picked up whatever, but I'll go with it, because you're a pretty honest guy. Well, actually, today, I'm not. Uh, I can't even find this thing anymore, for goodness sakes. I did have a one written on this piece of paper. And I did have a two written on the other one. I have no idea where the heck it is See, right now. So, huge that's... dog. You cheated. I did. I, I did cheat. So, all right, anyway, let's take a look at the teams. I had to get my guy Yelly. I mean, are you kidding me? I, I, I wasn't going to pass on him. So this was the order. I went one. He went two with Keston Hira. Um, I don't know. Your team is great from a couple years ago, Kev. Yeah, I don't like the way you say that. I got a little bit of mix of veterans. I got a Valencia, California, and Keston Hira on my team. Lorenzo Kane, I got a piece of gold. He's going to hit more power this year. And Arcia's energy, when we went to camp, he was one of our favorite guys. He's having fun with the boys, so I'm all in. Mm -hmm. uh, tweet at us. Let us know who's got the better squad. We will keep track of the stats somehow. So, Brewers, um, you folks behind the scenes, if you're listening to the show today, Keep stats of those eight players and then send them to us over the weekend when this uh, Boo Gold series um, finally wraps up because we want to know who's going to win here. Yeah. And I did cheat. I wish I could find my number two. I have no idea where the number two went. <laughs> How is, you cheated. Is it? Can you check you your um, all-star quiz? I might have left it in that stack One of sec. papers. One sec. With you. I'm, I'm calling Michelle Rose. Yeah, he, your husband's a cheater. Okay, Michelle. No problem. I just want to let that. No. Tell all. Okay, Go ahead. stop. Stop a second. If you're going to call Michelle Rose and tell her your husband's a cheater, it's not going to go over very well. I can promise you that. Okay? Jeez. <laughs> Moron. Oh. oh, my God. All right, let's move on to Seattle. Jared Kelenic, he's their top prospect. Dude can rake. He did it not once, but twice. Are you kidding me? Former Mets farmhand, the centerpiece of a big... 
Diaz and Cano trade. What you got, bro? But right now, it's, it's feeling really, really good. I feel like I'm on everything. I'm seeing the ball well. The first one, I was looking for something soft. And then the next pitch was just a fastball that I reacted. And I got the head out and smell you later. The last one, kind of the same thing. The curveball, I was just trying to see if it was going to pop. And same thing, though. It was just kind of a reaction. <laughs> did, did he say I smell you kid. later? <laughs> smell you later. And I'm sitting soft, but I reacted to the 95 belt high. And smell you later. Jared, stay right there, bro. This is what it's about. Oh, my gosh. Hey, on the day that he was traded, he was the centerpiece of that trade for Cano and Diaz. And we, we liked the trade for the Mets. We were like, you know what? Why not? It's been a while. Go step on the pedal, and who cares? Prospects, they turned into whatever. This is one where they're going to go, yeah, we whiffed on this one, right? Well, I'll tell you what, with that look, I like the size of his legs and the power below the belly button. You can tell when they got that big you-know-what, and that boy's got that you-know-what power and pop, so that looks good right there for them. Uh, no, I don't know. You're talking legs. What are you, what are you talking about? Uh, legs. legs. What do you call it? Booty? I don't know what you could say. Yeah. Big legs yeah, and big booty. Can. Go look at all the power. Like you, Rose. You're a power hitter. <laughs> By the way, guess what? I found it. You found it. I found Cheater. it. Yeah. So Poor I did. Michelle. <laughs> Stop. Michelle, I told you. All right. Uh, yep. He's a cheater. Uh, for yeah, the first time in 15 years, stop. King Felix is um, is not going to be on the mound for the Seattle Mariners, so he's taking with him the King's Court. Adios. So who's going to be the next guy that gets his own rooting section in Seattle? I'm going to go with the guy who is an all-star for them. 30 homer power, Daniel Vogelbach. But... There are some rules to sit in this section. You have to be under six feet tall. You have to be built like an <laughs> offensive guard. And you have to have led your softball team in home runs. Otherwise, you are not welcome in this section. Oh. Who do you think is uh, going to be the next to get one? Who do we love on this show? Talk about slam dunks. Dean Gordon coming up top. And you remember he went up top over me right here in, I think, 2014. <laughs> yes! from downtown. So D Gordon steals a lot of bags, got a great personality. We're going to the Duncan D League. The D League right here. And you know who's in the in the stands? Sean Kemp and obviously Gary Glover Payton. What do they call him? The Glove Man or the Glove? <laughs> the Glove. It wasn't Gary Glover. Yeah. It was you uh, know. it was the, the Glove. Gary. <laughs> you Payton. know. That's fine. The Glove.